Hello again, everybody. And today, this morning, we are uh, taking a look at difficulty levels. We have everything else in, at least to the point of the feature exists. And not to say that things couldn't use some polish and some 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 care with with their appearance. But we have one whole feature left. We got one feature, check the Trello board, one feature left, difficulty levels. And I have a, uh, have a checklist, what does easy mean, what does difficult mean? And really I, I need to ask one more question, what does normal difficulty level mean? And so, uh, the game as is, we're going to give, first thing I got to do is give it a playthrough. <coughs> and we're going to go and see you know, how, how, how achievable is the goal of winning? I mean, really. And I've long since determined the optimal strategy of this game is to explore the whole maze as least as much as you can. See, oh, see all the all the corners that you can see and pick up all the stuff that you don't have to fight a monster for. That makes it not... You're still making interesting choices, because really games are about interesting choices. Okay, don't grab the... don't, don't hit a trap. It's nice though, look at that. Every every time there's a monster, it's like, yep, there's your stats. And hey, you know what? We might as well open. If we get a key, we might as well open whatever the next door is. See, and the idea here is once I can do this, once you go through the whole maze, Hopefully your attack has gone up a bit, and hopefully you found a few shields, so you can make the decision to go after the monsters that you can kill in one shot. And you would start with the most difficult ones, because that is... Oh, yeah, don't talk, don't talk and play. So, in thinking about difficulty levels, some of the things that come to mind is how much time do I have? Give them more time if it's easier, give them less time if it's more difficult. But the thing is, is, I think there's sort of a, uh, ooh, well, I, at least I didn't take any damage from that guy. But I think there's a, like a minimum amount of time that you sort of need just to, just to explore through the uh, the game. And while right now I had an inflated one, it might not be all that far off. And I think in the, in the hard level, I deliberately want to give too little time. Because then, then you are, then you're in a rush, because in order to quote, win, you have to find the exit. I'm actually quite happy with how this how this game has turned out, and the, some of the things that I might like to do, I just can't do because of the decisions I'm I made as far as how it works. This is this is a WinForms application, and um, there's there's just a bitmap and a frame buffer, <coughs> but the uh, the things I would like is to have some background music and the way that I'm um, the way that I'm doing sound makes that impossible because I'm using the uh, system dot media sound player and so I can't 
actually play more more than one sound at once. If I play a second sound, I will clobber the first sound because it's not that sophisticated. Which, as far as the okay, I'm playing a sound thing. I also can't control the volume, which is another thing that I'd, I'd like to have sound effect volume. I like to have background music, and I would like to be able to control the volume of both of these. Just as part of a, here's a finished product, and that's what pretty much any game ever can do. But I can't do that because of the decisions I've made, so I would have to redo how the whole engine, if you want to call it an engine, how the whole UI works. Let's go to that room over there while I'm, it bothers me. There we are. We'll open this door on the way. Um, so I, without changing how the UI works, would like going to Mono Game, which would be my first choice, uh, which is redoing all of my rendering. And well, I got some other stuff I'd like to do, and maybe sometime in the future I can come back and uh, move it on over. And maybe I will do that, but at the moment it's just not that super duper important to me. And we're closing in on the rest of the maze. What I'd really like is for the wizard to see now so it's I'd really like for the wizard to be not behind a door, so I don't have to find him. Because a really big thing to get in this game is the love interest, which doubles your health. And that, that <clears throat> makes finishing the rest of the game very, very easy. Okay, at least I'm getting some... I was worried I wasn't going to get any extra attack. The extra attack is a killer, no pun intended, is a very good advantage, I, but I don't think, I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to be able to get enough to kill the, uh, so I get through the whole maze with about three minutes left. I forget how much time I give myself, but, um, now, I don't have enough to kill the girl, I do, I don't have enough to kill the, uh, with the, with the mummy in one shot, so, here's some more time, here's an attack, what's his defense, he's got a defense, so I need an attack of four. I'm going to go and pick off these skeletons and zombies in this corner. Push on. Okay. Alright, cool. Does it make the game too mechanical, I wonder, where the because the optimal strategy is explore the entire maze and get as much as you can first. Because I would never not do that. Well, I now might if uh, if I don't have enough time and hope to get lucky. Okay, now I'm at a four. Now I can smush the mummy. Let's go over to the golem and see. He's got... He's got four with a defense of three. At the moment, I would do one damage per side. I'd have to hit him four times, which means he would hit me with three. And if my shield held, then it probably wouldn't. So he would do two, two, then three, then three. That's, he would, he's going to chew me up. Do I do it at this point? I've got the six potions. Let's 
let's hope for that's better. Now I've now we got max attack. There's no reason. So die, die, <clears throat> and we can see there's there's a treasure I missed. Is the amulet underpowered? All these other extra little questions to ask myself. Is the amulet underpowered? Is it? Is the uh, shield degradation at the right setting? I'm not convinced. And these are these are things I change one line and it's and it's done. Well, not in the case of the amulet. The amulet, if I need it to do something else. That would that would be more doing, but I think I think I'd like what the amulet does. It's it's minor and it makes it makes the golem optional. You don't have to go for him. But it is it is quite helpful for you to do so so that you know. This one's going to give me two. Well, and my potions are starting to get used. I do think I need to beef up the shield a bit, but that's going to be the interesting... It's going to be the interesting bit. And I think that might also vary per difficulty. Because right now, I roll number one through three, and if it's less than the monster's attack, he takes away one of them. I think that that might be the hard level. I think the easy level might be a six and the, the normal could be a four because a four at least stands some sort of chance that even the toughest monsters might not take away shield, but with a three, both the golem and the uh, wizard will will deplete your shield. Will deplete your your defense with each hit. So they they're chewing through defenses. Down one potion. There's the exit. All right. I don't see it at this point. I don't have the ability to make it through the dungeon and killing everything. Oh, that's not the way I want to go. All right, I've gone through my keys. Next time I hear a boop. Okay, one last one. Or maybe down to two. Okay, but might save me a little bit of wear and tear so I can nope, that skeleton killed my shield. I got one more guy I can hit. And that's it everybody. I can't take any more hits. But I did find the exit. Um what do I say I leave about leave about a quarter of the screen filled with monsters. And so and there I go. And what did I miss? I missed. Oh, the love interest was over there. There were a few more shields that perhaps I could have gotten. I, I would have definitely done it in time. I had three more minutes at this point. So I think do I lower the normal by three and see how that goes. 
We do I lower it by two? I don't quite remember where, where I'm at. So let's take a look at let's take a look at the final score and see how that works out. I think grand total needs to be moved over by one case. And gee golly, this screen is ugly. This this needs some 36 skeletons and 34 zombies. Uh, four mummies, one golem. Do I need more instances where zombies happen? And also, the item total is clobbers. Okay, so the the monster total is one fifth. So it's all about items. So maybe my uh, maybe my zombie, or sorry, my uh, my monster uh, scores should go up. So if I, if I quit, well, if I want that to be on par, but what am I rewarding? Well, you have to kill the monsters. So, I think I'm going to, if not, I don't think the big monsters need to be quadruple, need to be, um, alright, so we got some things. So in the case of monsters we're going to make the scores of the little guys four times so that would be 180 and 240 but the golem let's just do all of them okay and now now that's a little bit better. And we don't need this stuff anymore. And now in my constants I've got all of this junk. I think initial health, initial attack, initial potions. <coughs> as well as so my time limit is this and I wound up with three minutes left and I had the whole thing explored so that minus 180 would be four, ha, 420 yeah so for normal difficulty 420 um, what's what's the fraction? 180 over 600. Oh, hey, let's. Hi, the programming calculator. 180 over 600.3. So, multiply that by 120. It's minus 36. Minus 20. So, 84. Um, 84. We call it 90. And how about we round that up to a minute? Are we cool? Alright. So the nor that's the normal difficulty. So now. But this, this is absolute absolute awful. Don't like it. And my state here where is my item generator? This is this is the one. So also potion count. Did I do I not? Do I even use this anywhere? Oh yeah, I got these and my difficulty settings. Very bizarre thing. Okay. So I'm generating this. So there's difficulty setting dot sword. Oh my so I've got this in here.
Well, we'll try out. So, difficulty level, difficulty settings dot potions. Always one exit. There's always one emulet. There's always one love interest. And what else do I want? I need other counters. So, if I want to change, so okay, when, I'm, when, I'm, when am I creating? I'm initializing. I'm setting my time. So, new explorer. So, let's, when do we do this? Okay, so time limit. What's that squiggle for? Possible indoor, incorrect indentation. You may well be right. Well, it appears to be running correctly, so it... You don't like it. Try and didn't this token. Okay, well. Dear compiler, yeah. Okay, now you're okay. Is that still alright? I think so. That's got curly braces to tell the syntax. All right. So, all right. The compiler was interpreted right. Was saying, "Hey, I, I think this is what you want to do." But all right. So I want the time limit based on the difficulty level. Locations, counters is map empty. So I do want Okay, so let's do this. Time limit easy, time limit normal, time limit hard. This will help have the compiler help us. Time bonus per hour lap glass easy. Hour glass normal. Time bonus power class hard. Same thing with defense throw. One, two, three. Easy. Normal. Hard. So for easy we said six. For this we said four. And for the defense throw hard is is three as we had it. Time limit easy we're gonna put back at six hundred. We'll put that back at 120, and for this, 360, and 360 over that, so that's 3 fourths, and what's 3 fourths of 90, one half of 90 is 45, dear calculator, 360 divided by 480 times 90 is, uh, no. So, okay, we're not giving you enough time anyway. Here you go. So, <coughs> we got nice round numbers for all that. And I think initial wounds is always zero. We'll do the same thing here. One, two, three. Easy. Normal. And normal's five. You know, I think that's going to be the hard level is five. Normal. Um, that's ten. We're going to give you 
Round down, round up, give mate. I don't know, may make it too easy. Health, health is a thing that, so now it just give you one extra, because I did run out. Oh, you know what? I think I might have been able to get the rest of those monsters. Let's leave it. Okay. So I have all my magic, I have all my, all my constants ready, and now I gotta play, apply them where they need to go. So, I needed my, I needed my difficulty settings, because I've got a difficulty level. My difficulty settings. Time limit. Int. And time bonus, time, I don't know, what do we, do we call it constant? Time bonus per hourglass. There's no other time bonuses, time, time, time bonus. It's a float. And in this ugly, so time limit. Goals time limit. Easy. Time bonus. Equals. I, I don't think per hour glass is really a phrase that is needful. At this point, could I have thrown all these constants just right in here? Bonus. Sure. Sure could have. And making things more readable. are easy with normal. Time limit hard. An interesting thing is I don't think my difficulty level is passed along as anything um, I have a suspicion and this will all make sense in a minute. So, delete. Okay. Of course I have the naming convention of easy this and then blah blah easy. Do I bother to change it or no? So I need my need my difficulty settings, which on uh, my initialization, what difficulty setting? All difficult difficulty settings, difficulty level. dot well, the difficulty setting will be a difficulty settings and we're gonna say dot time on it so that's already converting to a float Bonus per hour glass is here. There is no difficulty here. I do have state. So what I want to do is during initialization Alright. State. 
what I want to do here is I want to set the counter of time bonus to difficulty setting dot time bonus. I don't currently have a time bonus counter, but that's okay. Because put this counter type here. Now I got a time bonus. And we don't care time bonus hourglass. So we've got state. State. Get counter. Time bonus. But that's angry now because it needs a float. And now everything's happy. Initial health. Do I have... And is here the place to do this? So I can... I don't have an initial health on my... Diff my D is for difficulty. Initial health. Initial health. Initial. Uh, what do we call it? It's like initial health. Clever names like initial health. Easy. Normal. Hard. that one. Not dealing with monsters right now. Not dealing with item pickups. So, and let's grab another one of these. Oops, what am I... I'm setting the counter health to initial health. I'm going to do that here on initialization health. I'm going to set that there, which means I don't have to do that here. Did I want initial, po initial attack and initial I think that remains constant regardless of difficulty level. Okay, now here's a defense saving throw. I'm going to do a very, very similar thing. Defense saving throw. <coughs> and that's also going to copy that off there because we're going to need that in a minute. Um, so, grab that, put that there. Defense. Still called that. Please be called that. But it can be. Of course, angry again. Oh, paste equals easy. Yay. Naming conventions for the win. And of course, this is this is awful. This is ugly. But this is this is data. It goes somewhere. I could could I could I format it better? Sure could. Am I gonna? Probably not. Okay, build so we know the places where we're really still broken. We fail. This expression was expected to have type type int, but here it has counter type. <coughs> That's so true. Ooh, and I don't have defense attack, and I'm just going to have to... So who does... Who 
Who has this? Do I have... I do have a state. I'm going to have to have potassium saving throw. So, dear you, pass in saving throw. A new player defense. See, and here's, this is one of those, one of those I've sharp things. Like, hey, this was expected. To, wrong error, really. Not wrong error. Not really the problem. This expression was expected to have type int, but here has type a function that takes an int and returns an int. Like, oh, well, that's so true, but it's the, and it's, it's a result of currying. So, I need to pass explorer.state eh, eh. get counter defense saving throw and it goes away. But the error was being indicated here. And it's one of those things where oh, functions it's a matter of functions are things first functions are things Second, functions are things that take one thing and return one thing. And even though we have all of these functions that appear to take two parameters, it doesn't. This is a shorthand. This is really making one function that does this, and that function returns a function that takes this. And it's... it's, it's it's got some ramifications that are really wonderful for how you can express your code, but debugging it is is often a a weird and woolly thing, and it's 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 something that I struggle with as a person who does imperative development most of the time. I don't struggle with it more now. I'm able to go ah yes all right no, 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 over there, but so and we're built. And my goodness, are we, did we get it all in there? Well, let's, let's take a look. And this, there were build errors. Time limit. Oh, yeah. See, but. Hmm. See, here's a challenge. In order to do this, it knows nothing of time limit now. So I have to pass it in as part of a tuple. And it's like, hey, dude. Time remaining. Now we have to do explorer dot state. Oh, I have to actually save that, don't I? Because in order to do it, so time limit. My goodness. In my initialization, I need to add, I'll put it up here. So really my counters aren't, I've, I've bastardized my counters to be a, hey, um, store some data in there that I'm going to need for calculating things later. And that's um, kind of a no-no. It's, it means I, I, I'm not, I am not coding good because there should be well here are some here are some constants for <coughs> the explorer that have to do with those things but so it's not a counter it's not counting anything it's it's yeah but I'm also not going to change it so explorer state get counter time limit State dot time limit. So 
So what I'm saying is it's an abuse. Okay. And it stopped being angry. Can we run now? We can. Let's give it... First, let's go on the hard difficulty level. And at this point, we're just checking to see, do all these things. If I have less time... So really, in, in the hard difficulty, I'm not going to take, I can't take my time. Ooh, there's a ghoul. Ooh, two ghouls. Play through right quick, because I think we're going to run out of time. different strategy now. Now as soon as I have, oh yeah, it, and at hard level, it chews through armor like nothing. It's a really long hallway. On the, on the edge, it's less of a, less of a oddity to have a really long hallway like this, because it can only go but so many directions. Okay, cool shield. I will now fight anything that that I can kill with one shot. At least until my ooh, two shields. That's awesome. At least until my shields are gone. So my strategy here changes slightly. Not a ghoul. Death, death to you. Death to you. What did I take? No. Um, let's go this way. Look in that last dark corner. Death to you. So really, at this point, look at... Ooh. Here, that was smart. Looking for the exit. Can I make it out of this maze alive? Get some big points if I can manage to find the, uh, the love interest. Or the amulet, if I can manage to take out. Now we're doing well. We need one more, one more attack in order to kill the zombie. But I'm already. It's already. Uh, it's like, hey, running out of time. But the thing is, the mummy is likely to have the hourglass. So now I could take out the mummy, give myself more time, but that risks um, taking out. Hey, there's the stairs. Okay, right there. Without the amulet, I can't keep track of it. Hey, more time. More of that. I have the three. I'm going to do it. See if I can... See if he's got more time. Oh, he's got a key. That stinks. Uh, watching our time. We're good. We got four potions left and some time. Uh, three. So actually, yeah, on the hard difficulty level, it becomes a slightly different game because now the time attack portion becomes more. What you're, tr what you're, what you're concerned about. So that the time pressure being more on is a good, good thing for the hard difficulty level. 
There's the wizard. Can I get him? Or, well, oh, not. I am totally not strong enough for that guy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna not be seeing the wizard. So down to two minutes. So and also, with in my in my time, I'm recording the number of seconds that remain, rather than uh, this many minutes and this many seconds. So wait, I'd have to take five, five, five. You just completely mush me. I at least need some sort of without shield. I don't want to take on the wizard. And also, we don't have that much time remaining. Up. Time has gone red. So I think we're going to be able to explore this thing. try to fight some monsters here. Get the score for... I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. Okay, this is... Up, a little more time. We'll just go in this here neighborhood. Nope. <laughs> no. Ooh. This is this is not good. I am I am done. All the defense, ah, oh, it was all there. There it was. All shields for days. Just couldn't find it. And we quit. And yeah, now the monster, the monster score is much more on par with the item score, so that's good. But now, um, quickly do an easy, and this should be a much more casual experience. Yeah, because now I got, yep, I got 10, I got, um, stuff to burn, got health to burn. It does still make more sense for me to, uh, to explore the whole map, but now if once I, once I do have... A shield, it does make more sense to, uh, to go ahead and attack. And really, that's, that's even true in normal difficulty. Now, if you acquire a shield, go ahead and, uh, go on a rampage. You know what? That's going way too... I don't think my code is right for... Uh, depletion or I don't have my defense set correctly I think pretty much every time I'm getting hit I need to find another shield in order to prove this out so okay I'm satisfied this is a much more casual experience now and so uh, I'm going to close it out, and I'm going to take a look at my my depletion. Defense saving throw. Find you everywhere. So we got these, and then we have... We don't need a slash slash there, and then... 
defense saving throw, so I'm, I'm just player defense. Okay, so we're adjusting the player defense, so I take the state and I get the saving throw. We'll take a look there just right quick. is find a monster. Oh, perfect! So, explore.state counters and saving throw 4. So, okay, cool, step in. Okay, get out of there, go in. It's less than Attack, which is three. So, no, that appears to be working correctly. So, don't know what the problem is there, and or if even if there is a problem, I'm just it's just lucking out. So I got no idea. But in any case, here here we are, and we're at a spot now where we are future complete. We've got. I can go to Trello, and I can say. Yeah, I'm done. And here, here, here we are in a Trello board where we said we set out to do this stuff and we did it. Um, is there a lot of polish left on the game? There's a lot of polish, a lot of tweaking, but the the new development, it's done. It's we are uh, not exactly code complete, but feature complete. And the rest of it is all refinement and how it looks. Uh, thanks for going on this journey with me. And pretty soon. We're going to start another journey, and um, so be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take on a set of projects. We're going to go along, along, the line, along the same lines as one game a month, and we're going to go through Functional Game Dev one, one game per month, so they have to be small in scope, and it's going... Uh, it's called The Joy of Functional Game Dev. So look for that here, because now that I'm done with this, that uh, this was this was the last thing. I wanted to get this done so that I could do that. I don't, I hate my tendency to abandon a project because like, ooh, here's a shiny thing, it's over there, let's do that. I don't like doing it. So hey, thanks so much for, for coming along for this, with this, on this journey with me. And we've got a lot of more ground to cover. Uh, also in the joy of functional game dev, I'm going to go, because I didn't start doing these until most of the way through, I'm going to start with, here's an empty project, and you, here's how to do this stuff in F-sharp with .NET. Probably going to do some mono game. But thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.